Hello, now we are going to learn how to generate the emulsifier concentration chart. For that, we are going to use four samples. Each sample will have 100 ml of distiller water. To measure the volume, I am using this graduated cylinder. However, you can use this kind of cap. The idea is to be precise to have good data. Also, we are going to use smaller cylinders to transfer quantities of emulsifier to each sample, starting with 2 milliliters of emulsifier, continuing with 5 milliliters, 10 milliliters, and 15 milliliters. For the last sample, I am using 10 milliliters plus 5 milliliters because I don't have cylinder which can measure 15 milliliters. You can use changes to measure these volumes. So each sample has the concentration showed. I stir each sample to have a good mixing. To start using the refractometer, we need to set the reference point. Using a clean pipette, we are going to apply some drops of distiller water into the window sample. After, push the red button to get the measurement. We don't get 0, 0.0, then we are going to use 0 key to get the 0, 0.0. That is the reference point. Remember to clean and dry the window sample to be ready for a new measure. Using a different and clean pipette, we are going to take the first sample and we are going to get, pushing the read key, the value of 1.3. Feeding this value into the Excel sheet attached to this video, we are going to get the first chart point. Remember to clean the pipette and the window sample. Taking mixing of the second sample, we are going to get the second measurement, which is 3.8. So we have the second chart point, you see the line. Again, clean the window sample and the pipette to get the next measurement. Transferring liquid from the sample number 3, we are going to get the value of 7.2. Feeding this value into the Excel, we are going to get the third point chart. So taking the last sample, sample number 4, we are going to get the value of 10.4. Feeding this value into the Excel, we are going to finish the chart. This chart is generated exclusively for the digital refractometer used to generate these measurements. Remember to put the serial number of the refractometer to avoid any confuse. The chart will show two lines. One line is a solid line which represents the real values, and the dotted line is represented a trend line. I suggest to use this trend line to take your measurement in the future. I have other video which show how to use this chart. Besides, there are some suggestions how to clean the refractometer before to take measurements. I invite to watch it to complement this video. Hey, thank you for watching. If you have another NDT topic in mind, please let us know using the comments. If the video was useful, please give us a like subscribe and share with other NDT colleagues.